us. The trouble. We're looking for a man wanted for murder in Prince River. He's a Mexican. He's around here close. Appreciate it if you keep an eye out for him. Will do. Gracias, senor. Sheriff, fresh hoof prints going up that way. Get up. I guess we better go back home. I think we ought to keep looking. So do I. Folks back in Prince River ain't gonna like it if we show up without that. Well, I'll explain it to him. Him? Owen Driscoll. He's the only folks we have to worry about, isn't he? the sheriff just call me friend I know you I don't know him and I'm still waiting to hear what you have to say I better no one Aranda lied Aranda Vicente Aranda the sheriff he was Mexican once but no more he, he thinks like a gringo he smells like a gringo No offense, amigo. I only mean that. I know what you mean. I killed a man. That much is true. A drunken lepero named Skills. One of one of Driscoll's gunmen. Driscoll? Owen Driscoll? Say. Si. You know him? Yeah, yeah, I know. There were four of them. They were trying to burn my house. Yeah, well, we'll talk about it later. Right now, let's get you to the Ponderosa so I can get a better look at that arm and take care of it, huh? Hola, Chocamna, you got moment one high. What you need now is plenty of rest. I think not, amigo. I don't think Mr. Cartwright likes a wanted man on his roof. Let me a little food and a horse and. I will remove myself from your ranch. You're in no shape to ride. Well, if you, if you cannot lend me a horse, I will walk.
amigo, do me a favor. Tell Paul what happened. This man, Skills and the others, came to my rancho last night and tried to burn me out. Why? They are Driscoll's men. He told them to. Driscoll? Owen Driscoll? That name has a bad taste in your mouth, no? You know him? Driscoll Mining, yeah. He operated in Virginia City a few years back. Now, why does he want to burn you out? He wanted my land. Mine and the land of all the Mexican rancheros along the South Fork of Prince River. Driscoll wants to build a dam. He said the town would buy my land, our land, for 50 cents an acre. It's not buying, it's stealing. See, that's what we said. We say, you, you want to build a dam? Build it in the North Fork of the river. But Driscoll says no. That was his land, and he would not sell. Then it all started. They killed our vacas. They trampled our crops. They tear down our fences. And then they say that Ramon Cardenas is to blame. He, he once wrote for Juarez. He's a, a troublemaker, a terrorist, a revolutionist. And then the word goes out. Get Cardenas. And last night, last night they tried. Sure appreciate you dropping by to see me, Zach. Well, I didn't think it was no surprise. Deputy Brady come out by my claim, said you don't see me. I'd forgotten about your claim. How you doing out there? Ah, if it's any good, somebody would have stole it by now. It pays for my bacon and beans and a little more. Well, I'm going to open up a new shaft in Driscoll number two. Need a powder boss. Interested? 75 a month. I don't three years older than I was when you fired me because I was too old. Well, I'm four years wiser, Zach. Learned there's no substitute for experience. That I've got. 85 a month. You hired yourself a powder boss. Hey, Zach, I understand you were driving by the Cardenas place last night when Jess Skeels got killed. Yes, sir. Well, the boys who were with Jess said that Cardenas uh, started to shoot at him for no reason at all. Is that the way it was? Well, sir. Now, Zach, you know how I feel about Mexicans. Most of them are good people. Well, that's why I supported Vicente Aranda for sheriff. But this Cardenas... He's a troublemaker. Always has been one. You know, if he has his way, all the decent, law-abiding, hard-working people in this town are gonna lose everything for want of water. Well, it was kind of dark last night. You must have been close enough to see who shot first. Cardenas, or Skeels and the others. Well, who was it? It was Cardenas. And when they saw that Skeels was dead, the others rode off to get the sheriff. I didn't want to run. I want to stay with my wife, Sarah. She's going to have a baby soon. 
She begged me to go. She was afraid I would get killed. That was the sheriff there? Eh? Aranda is Driscoll's criado, his servant. He made him sheriff because he thought he could talk us into selling our land. But I must say one thing for Aranda. He knew better. He didn't even try to talk to us. This, uh, this other fellow, this Zach Toller, what kind of man is he? He used to work for Driscoll. A dynamite, no more. He works a mine down the road from my ranch. And you're sure he saw what happened? And I'm sure of something else. He will never admit it. Why should he? An old man, a gringo? He has no reason. Ramon, I'm going to Prince River. Nobody's going to railroad you to the gallows. But you got to promise one thing. You stay put right here until you hear from me. Understand? Si, senor. There's a lot of open country out there. A lot of open country where a man can hide, Mr. Driscoll. And the next Juarista, like Cardenas, sure knows how to use it. He could hide behind his own shadow. You made the right decision, Vicente. Of course, it would have been better if you could have brought him back to stand trial, but it may work out anyway. Now that Cardenas isn't here, I think the other rancheros along the South Fork will uh, Listen to reason, don't you? I hope so, senor. Who are you? What do you want? I'm Ben Cartwright. Está bien, Sara. Es un amigo de Ramón. I am Miguel Rojas, a friend of Ramon's. Miguel? Ramon asked me to come by to see if you were all right. You have word of Ramon? Yes, he's at our ranch. How is he? He's fine. His arm? Oh, it's going to be all right. He asked me to tell you that. Buenas tardes, señora. ¿Cómo está usted? Rojas, I know. But who are you? Ben Cartwright. I've heard the name from Virginia City. Yeah. What brings you to Prince River? Business. What do you want, Aranda? You're under arrest. Arrest? For complicity in the murder of Jess Keels. And if you're thinking about giving me any trouble, I assure you I won't back off. There will be no trouble. I will go with him. Sheriff Aranda is determined to dig his own grave with his people. And if he wants my help, I will be happy to give it to him. If you're hiding Cardenas, you're making a big mistake. If you're looking for Toller, a quarter of a mile down the road, the first trail to your right. Thank you for the information. I will stay so they do not burn this house. If you will help Ramon, we will all pray for you. Adios. Adios.
Toller, I'm looking for you. I'm Jack Toller. I'm Ben Cartwright. Came over to talk to you. Right now, we're going to talk about what you're doing prowling around my claim here. I just told you I came here to have a few words with you. Well, I'm a miner. You want to talk to me? Why didn't you look in the mine? Well, I looked around. I didn't see any activity. You didn't look in the mine. That's where the work's done. Anybody with any brains at all would know that. Yeah, you're right. I, I admit I was wrong. I apologize. But I sure do want to talk to you. You want to talk, I don't. And I'll thank you to get on your horse and get off my claim. Ramon Cardenas asked me to come here. Uh, you heard me. Come on now and get. I'll do it. Change your mind. I'm at the hotel, Prince River. Come in, sit down. I was just about to come to see Why you. Why did you arrest Cardenas' wife? I thought that was the right thing to do. Why? Why? I'll tell you why. She helped her husband escape. She may very well have been the one that fired the shot that killed Skeel. But that's not the real reason. <laughs> no, you're right. It really isn't. I've known Cardenas for a long, long time. He loves his wife. She's going to give him a child. So I thought that so perhaps you if thought I... that if he hears she's been arrested, he'll come and give himself up. He'll try anything to get her out of jail. I wish you'd talk to me about this first. Did I do something wrong, Mr. Driscoll? Ah, uh, you're new at this job, Sandy. Still some things you have to learn. Why, Carl, sometimes it's best not to push too hard. I don't understand. Well, for example, Cardenas convicted himself when he ran, didn't he? Yeah. All right, so what more are we going to accomplish by having him surrender and stand trial? And just keep the ranchero stirred up. Oh, I'm not saying he should get off scot-free. I only say first things first. And getting that land along the South Fork is what the folks in this town want more than they do a hanging. Hmm. Well, well, well. Perhaps I should release the woman. A little late for that. We don't want to give the rancheros the idea we're backing down. Now, all I'm saying is, if you do get word from Cardenas that he wants to make a deal to free his wife, you let me know so we can figure the best way to handle it. Understand? I understand. I'm sorry if in some oh, way I forget uh... it, Vicente. No harm done. No harm at all. You gonna talk to me? I was hasty with you, Mr. Cartwright, but always did have a short fuse, any little thing, and boom. I'm trying to say I'm sorry, but you ain't making it any easier. You 
and saw a shooting. Carden's place, yeah. Up till that happened, I never got one howdy a year. Now I got important people talking to me. Gordon the Cardinus, Skills and the other shot first, and you saw that. Is that what you want me to say in court? I want you to tell the truth. You're going to offer me a job. Clearing land on your ranch, maybe. Bowen stumps? No. Money, then. You're going to put something in my pocket to help me remember. No money, no job, no bribe. I was bribed. Feller gave me a job. Poured me some of the finest whiskey I ever tasted. I was sold out. The man that do that's too small to look a snake in the eye. I've been hating myself, Mr. Cartwright. I didn't want to lie, and I didn't dare tell the truth. Why not? Because I want to go on living. Big man that was there when Cardenas got away. That's him, all right. Good. Truth is, Skeel shot first. And I'll say that in court if I can get out of this town alive. You'll get out of this town alive, I promise you that. All right. But I don't want to talk to you again till court time. I might not get there. Who is it? Paul. Oh. This is uh, Mr. Toller's, my son, Hoss. Oh, howdy, Mr. Toller. Ready? Man, you're a big one. Yeah. I'm beginning to believe that promise. He saw the shooting. He's going to testify that Cardenas is innocent. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What are you doing here? Well, I came to get Mr. Cardenas' wife. He don't want to stand trial unless he knows she's going to be safe, and I figured I'd take her back to Ponderosa. No, you can't. She's been arrested as an accomplice. I'll go back to the ranch and talk to Cardenas. You look after him, see nothing happens to him. Right. do for you two gentlemen. You got trouble, mister. Is that a fact? That's a fact. You have a problem? No, there's no problem, uh, Sheriff. Well, then move along. You heard me. Move along. You too. Thank you, Sheriff. Mr. Cartwright, may I see your gun? There's a law in this town. You can't carry a loaded gun without written permission. You're under arrest. Let's go.
don't care what Thomas said, senor. I do not trust him. Oh, sure, he's brave enough now. But what will he be when he has to get up in court with Driscoll and Aranda sitting there, not taking their eyes off of him? Hmm? And even if he said the truth, who, who will listen? Who will care? When is Hoss coming back with Sarah? Sarah's under arrest. Sarah? W what for? Well, according to Arandis, she's mixed up in the murder of Skeels. I must go back right away. Yeah, Arandis probably figured you'd want to. What do you mean? Well, he's not interested in Sarah. He just wants to make sure that you get back there so you can give yourself up. Well, it doesn't matter. I must go back. Wait a minute now, wait a minute. If Arandis wants to make some kind of a deal, why don't we let him? Find Zach's body? Nope, and I don't think we will. Not enough for a funeral anyway. Terrible thing. How do you suppose it happened? Oh, it's hard to tell. You know how he used to go plumb loco every time he drank? With all this dynamite around here, anything could happen. Any reason to believe it wasn't an accident? No reason that I can think of. I know that. That's why I brought my family here, so they would not burn your house. Well, I'm going to surrender if you'll release her. They will hang you. But first, there has to be a trial. And Mr. Cartwright has a promise from Zach Toller that he will tell the truth about what happened. What's the matter, Miguel? Toller is dead. Convenient accident, Sheriff. Convenient? Toller dying just after you decided to tell the truth about the gunfight out at Cardenas's. I understand he already told the truth to Mr. Driscoll. You may go. Mr. Cartwright. What about that law against carrying a loaded sidearm? Well. I decided not to press the charge. I see. Primarily because there ain't no law against it, is there? You just didn't want me showing up at Toller's at the wrong time yesterday, did you? I'd keep opinions like that to myself if I were you. Is that a warning or a threat? You can take it either way you want, Mr. Cartwright. But take it.
Mr. Cartwright. I saw you talking to your son. I suppose he told you. Yes, he told me. Well, what can I do for you? I want to see Mrs. Cardenas. We don't keep women prisoners here. She's under guard in the room in the hotel. Why do you want to see her? I think you know why. Yeah? I suppose I do. Cardenas sent you to make a deal. He'll surrender if I release her, right? Well, isn't that why you arrested her? <laughs> well, more or less. There's one more condition. You deputize enough of Cardenas' friends to guard him. We don't want any accidents of the kind that happened as I told her yesterday. Nothing's going to happen to Cardenas. I'm afraid your word isn't good enough, Sheriff. Either Cardenas gets his deputies, or you don't get Cardenas. That's up to me to decide, Mr. Cartwright. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Looks like you're going to have some help making a decision. to exchange Cardenas for Cardenas' wife. Sounds like a pretty fair exchange. Oh, there's something else. They want me to deputize some of Cardenas' friends so they can protect Cardenas. It's all right with me. I don't want anything to happen to Cardenas before the trial. You? <laughs> no. But, uh... But what? Well, I've been thinking about Zack Toller. But we didn't find a trace of his body after the explosion. What if he wasn't at the mine yesterday? Sure he was. He had to be. If he was still alive, he'd have shown up here by now. Unless the Cartwrights are hiding him to make us think he's dead. Then to spring a surprise when he goes on trial. Cardenas. Mr. Driscoll, you know, I, I could be dead wrong about this. We might just be borrowing trouble. You have any idea where Cardenas is now? No, but I'm sure that if we followed the Cartwrights, we'd find him. No, I want everybody to know you were in town all day. We'll handle it. Brady. You're going to need these. Thanks, Sheriff. Gracias. Now, come on. As soon as you've surrendered to Aranda, I'll telegraph Charlie Dawson in Virginia City. We'll have him come here to defend you. Who is he? He's a crackerjack lawyer, one of the best. He saved a lot of men in the gallows. Probably the best lawyer in the territory. It is not the lawyer that Ramon has to worry about, senores. It is the jury, 12 gringos with a rope ready. The best lawyer in the territory or in the world will not save you, Ramon. Change your mind. Get away from here. Aranda is bluffing. He will do nothing to Sara if you do not surrender. I'm not so sure. I am. Miguel, would you be just as sure if it was your wife? I 
I will get Ricardo, Tomas, and some of the others to help guard you. If Ramon is tried, I am tried. If he's guilty, I am guilty. If he's to hang, I too will hang. You had no right to make this deal for me. It's the way Ramon wants it. I don't care. I will have no part of it. It is not up to you, senora. How soon will you be back? In an hour. Oh, please, don't let Ramon do this. It's his decision. I don't believe that. And he'll tell you that when he sees you. But let me go to my husband. Let me speak to him. You will stay here until he surrenders. Senor, I know how you feel. But please believe me, it'll be all right. All right for whom, senor? I don't understand, Aranda. What is it you don't understand, senora? How a Mexican can help the gringos rob and cheat and murder his own people. Senora, this is a gringo world. A gringo world with gringo rules. You can't win by trying to change them. You win by learning what they are and playing the game a little bit better than the gringos do. That's all. But to betray your own people. My mother was an Apache squaw. My grandfather an Irish buffalo hunter. Who are my own people, senora? for Cardenas' place. Well, they have to come back this way. We'll wait for them here. sure taking a long time. Maybe they ain't coming back this way. They'll be along. Thank you. 
Buenos días, amigos. You surprised, no? Mr. Cartwright, my house is the white adobe at the end of town. You'll find Zach Toller there. Will you please bring him to my office? I sure will. Thanks. Kilo. I took him there just before the dynamite accidentally exploded in the mine shaft. What are you trying to do, Vicente? I'm placing you under arrest for attempted murder. Mr. Driscoll. I adjusted the sights of the rifles I gave you and Brady. You couldn't have hit a man at 20 yards, much less 300. But you tried, and we have witnesses. Muchachos, vamos a la casa, todo está bien, todo está arreglado. Así que muchas gracias. I've been waiting a long time for this. If we had known, we could have helped. The other rancheros and I. <laughs> You're still thinking like a juarista. You can't fight men like Driscoll this way. No, he's right, Ramon. You have to fight men like Driscoll through the law. I know sometimes it looks as if we don't have too much of it, but we do, and we're getting more all the time. You gotta use the law, not guns. But men like Driscoll use it too. It is their law. Not if we do not let him have it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ready to go, Paul? Right with you. Amigo, I'll be back for Driscoll's trial. Don't you worry. Adios, Senor Cartwright. Adios. My friends, best of luck. Muchas gracias. Adiós. Thank you. See you at the trial.
Buenos dias. What's the trouble? We're looking for a man wanted for murder in Prince River. He's a Mexican. He's around here close. Appreciate it if you keep an eye out for him. Will do. Gracias, senor. Sheriff, fresh hoof prints going up that way. Heat up. I killed a man. That much is true. A drunken lepero named Skills. One of one of Driscoll's gunmen. Driscoll. Owen Driscoll? Say. You know him? Yeah. Yeah. There were four of them. They were trying to burn my house. Yeah, well, we'll talk about it later. Right now, let's get you to the Ponderosa so I can get a better look at that arm and take care of it, huh? Hola, chocamla, you got moment one high. What you need now is plenty of rest. I think not, amigo. I don't think Mr. Cartwright likes a wanted man on his roof. Let me a little food and a horse, and I will remove myself from your ranch. You're no shape to ride. Well, if you, if you cannot lend me a horse, I will walk. I guess we better go back home. I think we ought to keep looking. So do I. Folks back in Prince River ain't gonna like it if we show up without that. Well, I'll explain it to him. Him? Owen Driscoll. He's the only folks we have to worry about, isn't he? Sheriff, just call me friend. I know you. I don't know him. And I'm still waiting to hear what you have to say. I better no one. Aranda lies. Aranda? Vicente Aranda, the sheriff. 
He was Mexican once, but no more. He, he thinks like a gringo. He smells like a gringo. No offense, amigo. I only mean that. I know what you mean. Do me a favor. Tell Paul what happened. This man, Skills and the others, came to my rancho last night and tried to burn me out. Why? They are Driscoll's men. He told them to. Driscoll? Owen Driscoll? That name has a bad taste in your mouth, no? You know him? Driscoll Mining, yeah. He operated in Virginia City a few years back. Now, why does he want to burn you out? He wanted my land. Mine and the land of all the Mexican rancheros along the South Fork of Prince River. Driscoll wants to build a dam. He said the town would buy my land, our land, for 50 cents an acre. It's not buying, it's stealing. See, that's what we said. We say, you, you want to build a dam? Build it in the North Fork of the river. But Driscoll says, no. That was his land, and he would not sell. Then it all started. They killed our vacas. They trampled our crops. They tear down our fences. And then they say that Ramon Cardenas is to blame. He, he once wrote for Juarez. He's a, a troublemaker, a terrorist, a revolutionist. And then the word goes out. <laughs> 